So hi everyone. Today we will be deep diving into some major issues that I have figured out with graph rag while implementation. So graph rag has been an advanced version of standard rag which uses knowledge graphs for retrieval of data to talk to your external documents. So I have already covered graph rag in much detail in my previous video. Now in this particular tutorial I would be running through some major issues that I have faced while practically implementing graph rag. So I won't be deep diving much into the codes because I have already covered the codes in my previous videos. So you can check that out. So just giving you an overview how how I am implementing graph rag in this case. I am using the Gemini API by Google, which is free to create as an LLM. I am using this particular text, Charlene Shukla born in 1867, etc. So this is a text based on Marie Curie. I have replaced the major names with some Indian names. Now. After that, I'm using an LLM graph transformer and network X entity to create a graph QA chain. So to understand the codes in more detail, do check out my previous video. In this particular tutorial, I will be showing you certain prompts for which graph rag is giving me ambiguous and bogus answers. And then we will be discussing why that can be the case. So like if you look into the first prompt that I'm passing, who is Shalini Shukla? So here it is able to give me a decent answer. It is able to extract all the entities as you can see here in green. Now surprisingly, when I'm just removing I from the name, Charlene Shukla, it is not able to extract anything. So one thing that I understood is that it has zero capabilities of string matching. So like in case of standard rag, we are using string similarity and hence some minor spelling mistakes can work for you, but not in case of graph rag, because even a slightest of mistake in spelling uh, would cost you dearly and you won't be able to extract anything. As you can see, it's the same prompt, but with just a little removed. Now, surprisingly, I removed Shukla from the name and asked it, who is Shalini? Still, I got no answer. Again, it is making sense to me because if you look into the graph entities that are created, a node 1, node 2 relationship, so this is what we are entering as a knowledge graph. The node name, the entity is Shalini Shukla. It is not Shalini, it is not Shalini. So it has no capabilities of vector similarity. That is what I'm trying to convey. So if you are not exact with whatever entity has been extracted or inserted, you won't be able to get anything from the graph. So in case of an incomplete name or in case of a spelling mistake, graph rag is not able to give me any output. Now look into this particular case. Who was Ravi Pandey's mother? So I was able to get an answer, Shanti Devi. Who was Shalini Shukla's mother-in-law? It is able to extract everything about Shalini Shukla, but it is not able to give me a final answer. Again, it is not able to get to the secondary relationship that is mentioned. So in the text that I've shared, if I just go back to it, I have mentioned that Ravi Pandey is Shalini Shukla's husband and Ravi Pandey's mother is Shanti Devi. So indirectly, now I was assuming that LM would be able to make out that Shanti Devi is Shalini Shukla's mother-in-law, but it is not able to do that. But yes, it is able to make out that Ravi Pandey's mother is Shanti Devi. So it is not able to capture that comprehensiveness that uh, graph rag was said to be promoted. Like it is would be giving you more comprehensive answers. I'm not able to get that in this particular implementation of graph rag. It is giving me the direct mentions, but not the indirect mentions. Now, again, coming to a very curious case, Shanti Devi's son. I don't know, but Ravi Pandey's mother is Shanti Devi. So surprisingly, when I'm flipping the question, it is not able to give me an answer. One major issue after all this experimentation that I figured out is that if you ask a question based on the first node of the entry that we are making, Shalini Shukla or Ravi Pandey, it is able to give an answer. But when you're trying to use a second node into the question, ABC of what I asked, it is not able to give me an answer on Shanti Devi we have asked about. It is not give, able to give an answer for that also. So it is not able to give an output for the nodes that are present that are secondary in the relationship. So A relationship B, it is not able to capture B. So I think this is a flaw in the implementation, I would say. So if you are building graph rag using LangChain, do try to reverse the relationship and add it as well. So like if you're adding a relationship A Shalini Shukla 1867 born in, then there should be a relationship 1867 Shalini Shukla year she born, something like this. So it is able to figure out the first row, but not the second row. So any question asked with an entity in the second column is not being answered by graph rag. Apart from that, creating knowledge graph using language uh, graph 
using llms is in itself is a big task and it consumes a lot of time uh if you are going with a huge context do remember to limit your llm application because it would be hitting a lot of llm api calls you might be costed dearly so with this we would be wrapping up in this tutorial we saw a few issues with graph rec majorly around it has zero capability of vector similarity it was not able to capture the secondary relationship as i was expecting it to do apart from that on flipping the context it is not able to get me an answer and it is not able to uh, answer questions based on the second entity in a entry that we are making so with this we will wrap this up thank you so much